<clears throat> so right here we're in uh, how to build horsepower. Cylinder bore rigidity and optimum ring seal rely on one main factor. Wall thickness and wall thickness can vary substantially. Talking about weak blocks. This is talking about the benefits of a performance block. The advantages they offer over thin wall castings are substantial, include thicker main webs and cylinder walls. And some are cast from stronger high nickel alloys. So I'm just looking at the way the engine absorbs the power. And it's all about ring seal. And with these cylinders, with the LA sleeve coat sleeves in the sleeves we're using now, imagine if you went three inch bore and you had that much sleeve. So check it, right? Let me zero this. I'm gonna measure this right now. That's damn near 2.990 right there, even on board. I could take just a little C here out of this here and you would have that much wall thickness. See what I'm saying? You get the three inch 2.90 in this bore size and look how much sleeve you will have. You will never have distortion in that sleeve. You will have the most power, the best ring seal. And that's how you make power. The cylinder bore strength. The best sleeves with the best rigidity. They don't distort. And this is running it at almost four times its minimum thickness. If you got a 2.990 bore, it will be almost four times as thick as the minimum requirements. Regular sleeves, so if I bought a sleeve from, say, NR Racing or EC, the OD on that sleeve would be about 100,000 smaller than this OD right here. More, 150, 160 thousandths. So you have 160 thousandths more sleeve on the walls of this if you bought it to three inch. Now this one's going bigger than that, but if this would be the same sleeve we use in a three inch board. So here we go with another block. This is a 3.108. Now you can get these on the website unwelded and it's the under the same listing as the 2.990 or 3.004, you just add the $75 tooling fee to go up, change the tooling and go to this boss size. So. And then you can get the piston right under the listing. So this right here is this is the new three inch block to me. <clears throat> I wouldn't even recommend anybody get a three inch block. It'd be a 3.108 or bigger. Because as you can see, there is plenty of sleeve thickness in these. Now, granted, I haven't cut the idea of this, but we use the thickest sleeves you can get. Even on the 80 millimeter we still got thick sleeve so them la sleeves you can run an la sleeve at a sidewall thickness of 30,000 an inch which is the strongest sleeve and the thinnest capability wall thin it thickness in the industry and we're running daily, nearly double that in the 80 millimeter ball so 3.108, crazy thick wall cylinder. This has got, man, so much wall thickness left, like 60, 70 thousandths per side of wall thickness. So you can even get a 3.108 just to start and then get mad over boards. Pulse carts, just some info. I know you guys are preparing for the next season right now, and we're getting a lot of these blocks on, so Get on board. This is what's gonna be hitting every track. Cause they're out there now. A lot of them out there. Pulse carts.